Hi, this is Anne with a how-to anagram on uh, completing and testing the breakup e uh, exercise for this week. Um, as always, I'll probably stop saying this soon, please use the directions in the slide for your specification of what you are supposed to turn in. This is a demo. Uh, I make mistakes and sometimes I change the lessons after I record, uh, but this is intended to help you figure out how to do, how to follow the instructions, and the instructions for what you actually need to accomplish. The details are always in the slides. So once again, I'm sharing just my browser and I have the index file from the breakup folder um, here available to you. So as always um, with this code, the first thing to do is run what you've got. And um, generally, generally, you will get working code from me. Sometimes you will get broken code from me. You should know from the directions which you're getting. Because occasionally what you'll get is some code that is already broken and needs to be fixed. Generally what you'll get is working code that needs to be enhanced, refactored, something like that. So um, I actually have my browser window from the previous lesson um, open. And um, one of the things I wanted to point out to you is that you can always go back to the um, index page, drill your way down, click on that, and get to the page that you are supposed to be working on. But um, if you've paid any attention at all to this address, um, to the address in this address bar, one of the things you'll notice is that the folder structure is actually right here. So sometimes, and as you get more comfortable, probably a lot of the time, what you'll find is the easiest way to get from um, one working window to another is to hack the URL here. So um, if I go back and look, um, what I have here is COSI 1010, week two, breakup, index.html. So if I go here and all I do is COSI 1010, week two, and I change this to breakup, and I can type right, which sometimes I can, I hit enter, and I get to this very plain page that has the notes in it about this exercise. So what we see on this page is the text from these two paragraph tags and this little attribution, which is what you want to be completing whenever it shows up. Um, this is an odd exercise. Uh, I hope the book makes this clear, but I'm going to try to make it doubly clear. This is an odd exercise where what you are supposed to be doing is running code, and the code you're running is this code that sings, or at least prints out um, our favorite 99 bottles of beer on the wall song, but that the work of that code does not show up anywhere on the basic page. It's all, all of the output from that is in console log statements. And in order to see the output in your web page when it's running like this inside a script tag, you have to open the console log. Now there are a couple ways to do that. Um, I right click and click inspect element. Generally you can do the same thing by, uh, don't do this very often, go down here to web developer and inspector. Okay, I'm gonna close this window and just prove to you that if I right click to get a context menu, I go inspect element, I get exactly that same um, that same window opening up. Now, um, the inspect window always opens up in the HTML view, which we won't use very much and which is of no use to you this week at all. What you want to do is click on the console tab, and what you see here is the output from the actual JavaScript code. So this printout counting down from 99 to 1 to no more bottles of beer on the wall is the output of this code, which defines a couple of variables, 
and then has a while loop that counts down from 99 to zero, okay, and prints different things out depending on where we are in the count. That's all this code does. And your job for this exercise, um, as far as the book is concerned, is simply learn how to move this out of the HTML file and into its own JavaScript code um, file. I have added a task um, of being able to run this code two different ways because we are going to run our JavaScript in, in two completely different environments um, from one assignment to the next. And this is your chance to get familiar with both of them. So um, if I recall the instructions in the book correctly, you're supposed to create a file. So again, I go to the folder where I want to create the file. I right click to bring up a context menu, command click on a Mac, create file, give it a name. Uh, I think the specification is code.js. Okay. And an empty file pops open. Now, if I go back to index.html, I can highlight. So I'm just dragging my mouse down. Okay, do not, do not retype this code in Code.js. Okay, copy it out of this script tag and into that file. So having highlighted it, I believe I can right click again and copy. I don't think I've done this in this editor, so let's see if this works. And if I go here and I right click and I paste, okay, the code that was here goes there. Now, actually, what I probably wanted to do was a control X to get rid of it in the index.html. So as long as it's highlighted, I'm going to hit my delete key and get rid of it. And now I have it in this code.js um, file. It will work in just exactly this form. Uh, generally speaking, we want our code to start over on the left margin. So again, if I highlight it here and I'm doing um, with my keyboard, I don't know if there's a way to do this. Uh, I don't think there's a menu item for this, but um, if I control A to highlight all the code here and then I shift tab, I can move all this code back to the left hand margin, which is really where you want it to be. Um, let's keep our code neat and tidy um, from day one. You'll note that this has a round dot, that has a round dot. I have not saved any of my code yet. This is not Google Docs. Um, so I'm going to hit control S to save that. I'm going to hit control S to save this. And then the next most likely thing you're going to do is um, one of two mistakes. You're going to come over here and hit the, um, and look at it and go, oh, that's working. Um, and forget that you haven't in fact reloaded your code. So if you hit reload, okay, what you find is that you're not getting any console output. You're also not getting any errors. And that's because you took the code out of index and out of this script tag, but you haven't, and the code's sitting there, but nothing is connecting the HTML file, which is in command, with the code that needs to be run. And to do that, you need to change this script tag to point at that file. Now, I'm pretty sure you've got the book in front of you and that you can simply type in the um, correct syntax. Okay, uh, you've got your book in front of you and can type this in. Um, I've got, I've looked it up and am going to add the script tag here. And now this HTML file points to this code.js file um, and will run this code when the pages is loaded. So again, I have to save my file. Okay. I go back here and nothing changes until I reload. Okay. But now this time I am seeing the song again. And so, so double checking my work, I've proven that the code is no longer in the index.html. The code is in the code.js, okay? And my page is running it. And I can now take a screenshot of my page 
with the end of the console logging output. You do not need to find a way to show me all 100 verses. Um, all I need is, is just a shot of the bottom to know that the console loop finished. Now, I want you to know a completely different way to run exactly the same code. Um, I refer to this as running naked JSS, JS because um, it, um, because we're not running it inside a website. Um, generally speaking, JavaScript is made to be running inside the browser, inside a web page. Uh, but in fact, you can run it from the command line and you need to be able to know how to do this. And so you get to practice that this week. So to do that, you get to run at the command line of your Linux virtual machine. Um, don't let that scare you. I know a lot of people don't spend much time with the command line anymore. What you're going to need to be able to do here is really limited. Um, so come to the folder where the JavaScript file is that you need to run. Okay. Right click again. And what you want to do is open that folder in the terminal. So you're going to open a Linux command line terminal. Okay. Don't hyperventilate. Okay. You end up at something that looks a lot like um, a Windows or a Mac command line if you ever go there. Um, I know lots of people don't do that. But um, one of the things you can do here is a dir to see what files are in the folder that you're currently sitting in. And indeed, at this somewhat dark and dismal um, view of the world, you have the same two files that you see over here in the file explorer. And all we want to do right now is type the word node, which is going to invoke the process that runs our code, and then type in the name of the file we want to run, node.js. This isn't note, it is node with a D. So I'm going to hit enter and see that all of my code runs just like it did. So the console logging is coming here to this terminal. And once again, what I'm going to want from you is a screenshot of the bottom of this code that shows me that it worked okay. So again, you can run the code, generate console logs using your browser, or for certain types of JavaScript code, not all of it, you can run it at the command line and see all of the output um, just right there printed out. I think that's enough for now. You have to turn in two screenshots and I'm happy to take questions in Slack. Thanks.